today's daily shout outs congratulations guys if you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video just leave a nice comment down below also be sure to that subscribe button and drop a like and check out listingnoel.com for the merch and subscribe to my gaming channel hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here and you've never seen me before well hi my name's Lissy and I do really spontaneous videos welcome to the channel and if you guys want to join our family be sure to subscribe button and put the bell notification on so that you guys never miss an upload so guys for today's video I was sitting around and I was just like I don't know what to do it's been hard lately because my usual content on YouTube is arcade videos and as you guys know all the arcades have been closed for like over a month now and now I'm resorting into finding new things. Maybe I could be a dolphin trainer. Wait, no. Maybe I could be a cook. Wait, no. Maybe I could be an artist. Well, today I decided to go with the artist thing because I don't know, art is pretty fun. So basically today we're gonna be doing a thrift store makeover. Um, this was a long time ago, by the way, when I got this thing from the thrift store because all thrift stores are currently closed. But I got this from Savers and basically what it is is it's like this little carousel and it's actually a music box. Funny thing is, it's really old and my sister actually hates it because whenever I bring it around her, she's like, Ew, what if it's haunted? Just because it came from a thrift store does not mean it's haunted, okay? So, yeah. It's a, it's a very old item. I mean, it came very dusty as you guys can see here. There was, ew, dust everywhere on the thing. I'm not sure how old it was, but it was really cheap. It retailed for like six or so dollars from Savers. So, I mean, I got it because it's really cute. Like, who wouldn't want a little carousel? Wait, did I call it carousel? It's a ferris wheel. Who would want an, a little tiny like ferris wheel music box that has little teddy bears in it? I thought it was super cute, but I also thought, what if I gave it a makeover and made it be super cute to match my room and made little clay figurines to put inside of the ferris wheel thing as it moves around and I can make like little Trixies and different animals. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be seeing if I can give my ferris wheel thing a makeover. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for the start of this, I'm going to be cleaning it off as I said earlier it is very dusty and very dirty and it's literally just got so much dirt Ew look at all the dirt that's coming off of this thing as I clean it I had to get a q-tip to get into like the edges and even an air blower because there's a lot of dust particles like stuck all around this thing So I had to give it a really good clean before I started to paint on my base um, And I'm thinking about going with like a nice gold color as the base color so once I finally cleaned it all off, it was finally time to paint, so I mixed up some gold paint, as you guys can see here, because it's a really nice color, I feel, to kind of go over that, even though it was golden, it's just a little bit of a different shade of gold. So I went over with all the gold paint, and then after that was done, I covered the top of the base with like gold too, so just like the bottom base and the flat base, all gold, because why not? <laughs> By the way, that took a really, really long time, because there's so many little crevices in this thing, so then I I took a nice pink color of paint and I decided that I wanted to do the actual wheel color a nice pink color because I like pink if you guys couldn't tell it's one of my favorite colors so we did pink and this actually took forever to paint as well and it wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be I wish I would have like sanded it down but I don't have a sander so we didn't do that but it was really hard since you know this is a fragile old item and I didn't want to break it and yeah so I painted the whole wheel pink and once that was done I took a nice lavender purple color just like my hair pink and purple <laughs> I like those colors uh, I took a purple color and I painted like the little front thingy um, and it was looking pretty spiffy however I did not like the little teddy bear things that were on there um, as cute as they are in the beginning, they looked really cute. Like, I like the teddy bears in the beginning, but I felt like they needed to go because, I don't know, I wanted to try making my own, um, little teddy bear things or Trixies or something to go in the Ferris wheel and change it up a little bit because, yeah, maybe we can use some of the bears later for something, but I pulled them off and then I actually made my own little clay charms as you guys can see here I'm going to be making the Trixie so I rolled a few pieces of black Palmer clay and constructed a mini tiny Trixie and I also constructed these other little tiny animals I think two Trixies and two other random colorful dogs because um, I got lazy and they took a really long time to make and I didn't even show the full process because I got lazy to film it. <laughs> there was a lot of um, crafting involved in this little tiny remakeover thing. Anyways, moving on, um, I took those and I baked them and then once they were all baked, 
Um, later on I will be gluing them on, but I also wanted to add a glitter base to like the golden base at the bottom because I thought that would be so cute. So I took a glitter paint and I painted the look shiny glitter stuff over the base of the bottom of my little Ferris wheel makeover. And once that was done, I actually took gemstones and I glued that to the base of my Ferris wheel. And I thought that was a really cute addition. So I like the gemstones. They're looking good. They're looking cute. And not only did I take gemstones there, but I also tried gluing on gemstones to the top of the ferris wheel however I didn't think about it um, some of them hit into it when it went around like when it spun so I had to remove some of them so it kind of looks uneven but I try my best to glue like gemstones and I try my best to glue on the animals but I made a mistake uh, the mistake basically was um, I didn't think about this but if I got any glue on the bar they weren't able to swing like they're supposed to originally so I kind of messed up on that part of it however we're gonna pretend that didn't happen because this is my first thrift store makeover and if you guys like this then uh, maybe we'll do a part two and I'll try harder and plan this out better but I try my best so I glued all the animals and it was looking all right however I feel like it's still missing something I don't know what so I actually took the original bears from it and I glued them to like the front because there was these like two weird holes so I felt like they needed to be glued there and yeah <laughs> And that was pretty much it for this thrift store makeover. And I want to show you guys the final finished result. Ta da! to see here so here is the final finished result as you guys can see it is whoa it's spinny um, it is a lot brighter um, than it was before as far as color scheme goes however these little chairs here with the animals are kind of restricted from moving and this one's gonna hit in oh it just made it they definitely don't fall right but when they come up to the top they're face forward so I think that's the only complaint I have I'm actually gonna spin it and show you guys how it spins so we're gonna give this a nice little spin here and see if it works right I kind of broke it just a little but I'm trying my best oh it is spinning but see how some of them are upside down like the Trixie here is literally upside down and gonna hit its head. Like, it's moving slower than usual too. Put more spin power into this. Oh, no, it's stuck. Why is it stuck? Man, it keeps getting stuck. No! Wait, now it's moving again. Well, it's spinning. I guess that's the good part of this. It is a little messy. I see some paint spots that I missed. And this keeps getting stuck! No! All in all, I kind of messed it up. <laughs> I tried, okay? I'm not like professional. I mean, needless to say though, it is cute. Even though like some of these don't stay up like they're supposed to. Um, I think it's a really cute music box. But yeah, I definitely could have some more fixing to go. But I think that I did an okay job. So the base is a lot more golden and sparkly, which I like a lot, with the rhinestones on it. It matches my two nails. Um, then I added those bears there in the front, a lot of rhinestones here. So I mean, it's a little more pleasing from the front, so I will give it that. Um, the animals, though, are the biggest yikes. These ones right here, like I said, they're not staying up like they're supposed to when they go around with gravity because I glued them in wrong, the little Palmer clay charms. Um, so that's like the only complaint I really have is just messing up the gravity of this one Not really thinking it through about the weight situation of these little guys and why there's weights here Like this one moves right because I didn't ruin it So other than that, it's really cute I think it looks a lot better like from the outside But I feel like I definitely did mess up the little animals But yeah, I mean all in all let me know what you guys think Let me know in the comments down below did I ruin it or did I fix it? <laughs>
<laughs> I literally worked on this for like, like I said, maybe not 12 hours, maybe that was dramatic, but at least a good 9 hours. I will say at least 9 because I was painting this and gluing it forever and now I'm seeing all these airs and like things that I didn't fix right and I just wanted it to look cuter so if it looks cuter let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't look cuter then um, I kind of failed my whole mission here and I didn't want this video to not be posted because I literally put so much work into it. I'm just scared that I'm gonna bore you guys with this. I really hope I don't bore you guys with this because I find this stuff really fun to watch like craft makeovers and DIYs are always my thing but I know I'm usually an arcade channel and I don't usually post this kind of stuff and if this video flops well just know that I put nine hours of my hard time into making this and it's still beautiful and even though it's a little bit broken and ugly kind of like me at least it's still kind of functional also like me <laughs> tried my best okay so yeah that's gonna be today's uh, thrift store makeover hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do this again and maybe do something more crazy anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video I love you guys all so so much and I'll see you guys in the next video bye arcade fam so that was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to drop a like and be sure to leave a comment down below I will see you guys next time goodbye